Oh my god, so incredibly gosh darn cute. Look at that face. The life cycle of the mulberry silkworm starts with eggs as usual. Many baby caterpillars hatch from their eggs after hibernating for three months. I feed them artificial diet made from plant proteins and leaf powder. Look at them grow. Raising this piece is pretty easy and forgiving and suitable for beginners. Within no time the caterpillars will grow to a decent size. This species is one of the few completely domesticated insects by humans, kind of like how we domesticated dogs, cows, sheep and chickens. These moths don't exist in the wild and are selected for the sole purpose of silk production. Isn't that crazy to think about? And then they grow even bigger. They should be almost ready to spin cocoons. There you go, the first cocoons, yay! Now the waiting game begins. In a few weeks time expect to see amazing cuties. There they are! These moths cannot fly and cannot eat. So they live for a short time, which is just enough to mate, lay eggs and eventually pass away. They feed on mulberry, but can also be raised on artificial diet in captivity. Bye!